Really, we want it to be in a place where we could talk to a local community as well as a great visitor community from all over the world. We're in about 34 countries today, so we want to make sure that people, as they come from around the world, are able to experience art so far. You may have noticed on the front window it says we speak Mandarin. We actually speak about 10 languages in the store. We wanted to appeal to that global community as well as the local Hearts on Fire community. The Forum Shops here is one of the best, probably the best uh, single mall in the country, so we thought why not start with the best. So we started about four years ago. We partnered with a firm called 8 Inc. Uh, and 8 really specializes in thinking about how do we think about a retail space completely differently than's ever been thought about before. How do we create an experience? So how do we take the architecture, the design of the space, and the people and, and define an experience. And so they've done that very successfully in a lot of different uh, fields. They're most notably, uh, the most well known for the work they did with Apple. So uh, 8 Inc. has been with Apple from day one in creating the retail concept. And together with Steve Jobs and the senior partnership at Apple, they created the Apple retail concept. And we said, well, it really starts with the interaction of the salesperson and the, and the consumer. How do we have somebody come into the store in a very relaxed way, understand this is a place to play, to have fun, to enjoy. It's not necessarily the serious business of buying a piece of jewelry. And how do we change that relationship between the retail sales professional and the consumer and break down those barriers so they're comfortable and relaxed in what can sometimes be a very challenging shopping environment. So we started with the very modest goal of saying, let's redefine the uh, entire retail shopping experience for diamond jewelry. Small goal, but we had four years to work on it, and uh, that's where we started. And there were really a number of key elements in the store that do that. Uh, one of them we're standing in front of here is the jewel box. And so the jewel box is, replaces the traditional jewelry case. If you think about a traditional jewelry case, you're selling to me, I'm a safe 18 inches away from you, I'm looking down at the jewelry. That fundamentally has defined our relationship from the beginning as one that's not necessarily comfortable to the end consumer. And we said, well, how do we change that? How do we bring it around so that you and I are now standing on the same side of that case? We're now partners in trying to figure out what's best for you and we're presenting the jewelry in a way that's much more comfortable for you. So when you look at our cases here, this is a jewel box, we refer to it as the jewel box. And instead of opening like a traditional case, we simply swipe a key card, and then what we can do is open that and bring the jewelry into this position here. What that does now is a, a number of things. Now you and I are looking at the jewelry together. I'm actually inviting you to reach into the case, take out anything you want to look at. Instead of my handing you one piece at a time, I'm saying, come here, have, play, have fun, play with it, try whatever you like and see if it works for you. You may have noticed when this opened that a mirror emerged so that if somebody wants to try on the jewelry right here, they can try it on and understand how that might look for them. The light changed, you may not have seen that, but the light changed because the light that's most flattering to her is not the same as the light that's most flattering to the diamonds. So once she's trying stuff on, we want to make sure that that light is flattering to her as well as to the diamonds. So the jewel box is a fundamental change in how I'm going to interact with my customers that come in the store, change this from something where I'm controlling that experience to one where the consumer is actually participating, coming in and playing and enjoying the shopping experience. You can see when that closes, the light comes back on now and, and presents that jewelry in a very different way. So we started with the jewel box and that's a, a very fundamentally different way of thinking about presenting the jewelry. We added something, and we'll see in a bit, we added something called the community table. So shopping is often a communal experience, and our notion for the community table started with the kitchen table or the kitchen counter. Imagine when you go to somebody's house and there's a party, they want you in the living room, they want you in the dining room, they want you someplace in the public areas. Where does everybody go? They go to the kitchen island. And we say, well, why is that? Because people fundamentally want to gather together and share their experience. Shopping's no different. You might have a group of people who are shopping together, and as they're shopping together, they need a place to gather. And maybe they've gathered a bunch of jewelry from the different showcases around, the different jewel boxes around the, the store, and they want to sit down and try on that wardrobe. Or maybe you have two strangers who have never met before, but she's going to ask this very well-dressed woman over there, well, what do you think? How do I look? And she's going to trust the opinion of that person, that stranger, much more than the sales professional, because she knows that that person has no agenda. So the community table allows those people to gather, meet each other, become best of friends for five minutes, and then go their separate ways. So that's another key feature in the store. An additional feature is our embrace of technology. A lot of times today, store brick and mortar sees itself as in opposition to the virtual world, the electronic world. We want to bring all of that technology into the store. 
So we start with something called the Knowledge Wall, which is a 20-foot long interactive digital wall where you can search our catalog, you can learn about our brand, you can watch the videos that we've done, you can see what's new in the store. That's bringing technology that people are comfortable with in their home here into the store. We conduct all of our business on a handheld tablet. So there's no more cash room in the back, there's no more sort of registers. We can just take care of business, swipe your card, and order your jewelry right on the spot with you. And you see throughout the store that embrace of technology. So those are really the three key architectural features that we introduced. We're standing here in the private, uh, more of the private selling area, which is a little bit more of a secluded area for people who might just want a little more privacy while they're shopping. In the next year or so, we expect to have between 10 and about 10 leases globally. So again, we're in 30, actually 34 countries today. So we're looking all over the Asia Pacific region here in the US. Every one of our leases is in partnership with a local retail partner. So we're not opening stores without our independent retailers. In fact, we're doing this with our independent retailers so they can benefit from what we're building from the brand, what we're learning here, what we can bring to their stores. Uh, at the moment, I can't release any of the locations where we'll have stores, but it will be about 10 leases by the end of next year, by the end of 2013. It's been a great start here. We're really excited about what's happening. We're learning a lot. We're learning how to retrain consumers to behave differently than they behave in other stores. A staff that has to learn how to operate in the store. So we've been very happy with the sales. Uh, last night we had an open house to the industry. We had about 250 of our retail family come here and see the store. And we've heard great positive feedback about what this new concept can mean for, for the business. Not just for us, but for everybody else in the industry.